Morning, even afternoon, we got a banger for y'all today, baby. What if the Earth stopped spinning for five seconds? What we got for y'all here is another reaction video, and this is me reacting to the What If channel. It'll be in the description. This channel is awesome. If y'all want more videos like this, be sure to leave a like, hit the sub button here. Most importantly, though, be sure to tell somebody you love them. I'll catch you on the next one. Well, we got another one here. This is a what if the earth stops spinning for five seconds. We had done one of these and basically what it was was what if the earth goes without oxygen for five seconds. So honestly, I've been kind of learning since I've been watching these and I'm very curious to see what would happen if the earth actually stopped spinning for five seconds. Um, before I guess anything, like I did this the last time too. I'm just going to guess, okay? I think that if the earth stops spinning because it's very important that it does spin, and I think we would fall off of the earth and I just end up in space. Let's see if I'm right. Hang on, because we're about to screech to a halt. Or, uh, That's right. Mm -hmm. The earth is going to stop spinning for five seconds. Okay. We, How much damage would this sudden stop cause? We'd end up in space. What would you experience space. in different parts of the world? And... When the Earth starts spinning again, would it still be habitable? This is what if, and here's what would happen if this the Earth so stopped cool, spinning for five seconds. The Earth makes one full rotation on its axis every in 24 one hours. Day. This I got that right. Good job, Tim. Pat myself on the back. Gives us day and night. The That's Earth beautiful. is spinning because of collisions that happened when the planet was forming 4.6 billion years ago. As a huge disk of gas and dust swirled around the sun, dust and rock grains clumped together, generating forces that kept the planet rotating in one direction. You could imagine it much like a figure skater spinning faster and faster. Okay. And with almost no forces in does space that, to slow the planet down. Does that mean we're gonna end up spinning faster eventually? Kind of like Inception Top thing? We keep rotating and will continue to for billions of years. But if the Earth stopped on a dime, would you fly right off the surface? That was my guess. We end up if going to space. If the planet came to an abrupt halt, the atmosphere would still be in motion. Oh. That means, though everything has lurched to a stop, powerful winds would continue to blow. And these wouldn't be a strong breeze. They would be many times stronger than any storm you've ever encountered. Now, the Why? strength of these winds would differ based on where you were on the planet. At or near the equator, oh God. the Earth is rotating the fastest. <laughs> Here, you'd experience wind speeds of 1,670 kilometers per hour. What? Hang on, where, where's Florida in this, bro? Hang on. Where am I? Is that, is that it? Is that America? That's definitely America. I'm rocked, bro. Oh, GG, man. Hey, go next. Here, you We're experience smoked. wind speeds We're of smoked. 1,670 was... kilometers per hour. Hey, GG, Those man. Winds would knock that was the you wind. Off your feet. Knock me off my feet. But forget about you. These winds would be strong enough to tear up the Earth's crust. Oh, so we're so all smoked. It wouldn't matter if Got you it. were out in an open field or inside a steel reinforced building. I like how they added like These movie stuff in here too. Obliterate you. For context, the strongest F5 tornadoes have velocities up to 511 kilometers per hour. And these storms can move houses off their foundations. This would be like cars three times that. Even tear apart concrete structures. The winds from the Earth's emergency break would be three times stronger than that. Oh, so yeah, we're smoked. If the crust under your feet didn't crumble, you and a lot of other stuff would likely go flying a great distance. I don't I don't understand why the wind why would wind continue to be here if I'm just gonna stop talking. But not off the face of the earth. The escape velocity, or the speed you need to escape the Earth's gravitational forces and enter space, is about 40,000 kilometers per hour. In other parts of the world, like New Zealand or France, you'd experience slightly weaker winds, but 
at 1180 kilometers per hour, these would still be much stronger than any storm ever. How do they I, One thing I'm really curious about this channel, I was curious about it too when I when I saw the, um, <clears throat> if you lose oxygen for like five seconds, what would happen? How, like how they find all this out. It's actually incredible that they like compile all this information. I mean, I'm just taking it at like, like face value. Like this is 100% right. And this is exactly what would happen. But I'm curious like how they figure that out. Like how do you, I don't understand. These winds <clears throat> would pretty much destroy everything, but they wouldn't be the only hazard you'd need to keep an eye out for in these short five seconds. Our planet is not a perfect sphere. It bulges near the equator due to the centrifugal forces generated by the planet's rotation. Huh. If the rotation stopped, the Earth would transform quickly into a perfect sphere. Hmm. All the water gathering near the equator would flow away toward the poles, generating a massive oh, tsunami. Oh, God. Five seconds later, when the planet returned to its full speed rotation, that water would backtrack. A wall of water would slam into everything and everyone twice. That's one heck of a storm. Maybe the only place you'd be safe in this scenario is near the North or South Poles. Here, the wind would be the mildest. Now, you must be relieved to hear that the Earth has returned to its normal rotation after all this, but like I said, there would be nothing left on it. Every building, all farmland, and all technology would be demolished beyond recognition. Billions of people, if not every single person on Earth, would die from the brute force of being slammed by the massive gusts of wind. See, that was, <laughs> that was my guess, right? Like, well, I said space, but I, like when, when he's saying the, wi the wind is that strong, I'm like, there's no way you could live. So like, if it actually did stop spinning, I think we'd all be chopped. I think even if you were in Antarctica, wait, is Antarctica the North Pole, bro? I don't think it is. Gosh dang it! So if you're looking to survive this apocalyptic scenario- Where do I go, bro? You'd better start building an underground bunker. Mm. Luckily, it's expected the Earth won't come to a halt anytime in the next few billion years. Yeah, and before that, the sun would burn out and turn into a red giant. <laughs> but that's a story for another what if. This channel is awesome. I, I had never, like I said it in the other one too, but like I had never heard of this channel. I saw Jinxie react to the, the oxygen one. I was like, dude, what is this? This is crazy. And now there's like these rabbit holes you can go down where it's like, what if this crazy stuff happens, bro? And as I said in the other one, if you guys have some that's like, Tim, you got to check this one out. Comment down below and let me know. I, I, I want to watch more of these and react to these for sure. These are crazy. I also think I'm kind of too stupid to really understand them. A little bit. He does explain it very well like I'm an idiot though, so that helps.